بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Today inshallah we are going to start the first lesson of uh, unit 5 from Flying High 4 it's about knowing the market knowing the market what is the marketing marketing is the process of interesting poten potential customers and clients in your products or services the key word in this marketing definition is process marketing involves researching promoting selling and distributing your products or services this is the meaning of marketing here we have some uh, words which we are going to use uh, later in this exercise we have about five words but first we have to know each word what does it mean look at the first picture it shows us some accessories accessories it's uh, general word including uh, sunglasses uh, watch uh, handbags hats so we call about these things accessories the second picture shows us outlets outlets means shops in general and the third uh, uh, picture shows target market target market it means that when you want to do your own project you have to study your own target if you want to uh, start your own business you have to know uh, who are your targets so this is the meaning of target mar market and the uh, fourth picture uh, fourth picture shows uh, fundamentals fundamentals means the basics the basics and uh, the third uh, or I'm sorry the last picture it shows consumers consumers or in another word customers customers uh, the person uh, who who buy stuff or buy things so we can say consumers or we can say customers the first exercise in this unit is word builder it's as I told you before about marketing in such an exercise when you have a uh, words bank you have before filling uh, the gaps you have to read each sentence you have to understand the meaning of each sentence in order to fill in the gap with the correct words here we have the first example food items are mainly sold at such as supermarkets what is the word shall we put uh, which similar to uh, uh, or which uh, will be correct at the gap supermarkets uh, the second example here handbags designer watches and jewelry are all fashion fashion what so uh, before as I told you before to fill in the gap you have to make sure that the your uh, word is 100% uh, uh, correct the third sentence parents are the for children's clothes parents means the father and the mother are the for children's clothes the fourth statement here or the fourth sentence the four ps are the of marketing and the last sentence is marketers often refer to customers as here they he uh, or they want the other word of customers so in the first gap we have to bought outlets so the answer will be outlets food items are mainly sold at what at outlets supermarkets the mini markets the hypermarkets all of them are example of outlets number two handbags designer watches and jewelry are all fashion accessories accessories so this statement uh, or this sentence talks about handbags watches jewelry all of them are an example of uh, or example of accessories 
parents, as I told you, parents, including the father and the mother, are the target market for children's clothes. Of course, if you want to buy uh, children's clothes, uh, the parents are the, target, uh, uh, are the target market. Number four, the four PS are the fundamentals of marketing. Fundamentals, the basics of mar market, marketing. The last sentence, marketers often refer to customers as consumers. Here are the answers. You can write them down at your book, page uh, number 42. As I told you before, when you have such an exercise, it's very important to understand the meaning of the sentence. And uh, when you uh, know the meaning, even the, uh, the, the words uh, also, uh, it's very easy for you to fill in the gap and you, uh, it will help you to be sure about your answers. Here we have <coughs> reading uh, part. Let's read it together. Uh, marketers find it useful to divide the population into different group of people or segments who have something in common. Segmenting the market makes it easier to identify groups of people with the same consumer needs and wants. There are various criteria used in segmentation, but the most basic is to divide consumers according to age, gender, income, and lifestyle. Here, uh, it's uh, an, uh, a piece of article talks about the marketers and how uh, they find, uh, how they divide the population or the people according to specific criteria. What are the criteria? According to the age, what is age? What's the meaning of age? Age means uh, the stage of the human being. Sometimes uh, we uh, call the youth or teenager, uh, for example, the children or childhood. This is the age between, for example, uh, one to three years, uh, between uh, 17 to 20 and so on. Gender, gender means uh, the other criteria. It means gender uh, male or female, it talks about uh, men and women, boy and girl, uh, this is the gender. Culture, it's another criteria, talks about the people in their country, this is the culture. Uh, income, uh, uh, everything which they, income it means uh, their income, uh, their money, how they, or how much they uh, have uh, to spend when they are going to, for example, buy things. Lifestyle, everybody or every individual in the society has his own lifestyle. So we have similar uh, exercise. We have to fill in the gap with the correct words. We uh, First, you have to read the statement. Then uh, try as much as you can to understand the meaning of the sentence. After that, Fill, uh, fill in the gap with the correct words. The first example is, young, uh, young professional may want to drive a sport car. A married couple with children will need a larger car. Pay attention here, this statement talks about what, which criteria shall we put uh, in the gap? A young professional may want to drive sport car, uh, a married couple, with children will need a larger car. So uh, we have to put a specific criteria in the gap. Number two, do-it-yourself equipment is largely targeted at men, uh, whereas cosmetics are largely targeted at women. So here we have what different uh, type. We are talking about men, and in the other part of the sentence, we are talking about women. So we have to put another target, or, or I'm sorry, another uh, criteria in the gap. The third sentence, the population can be divided 
according to the stage of life. Uh, e.g., for example, school, uh, school child, child, teenager, parent, uh, pensioner, and are more likely to have similar needs, but different needs to those or retired uh, uh, are m more likely to have similar needs, but different needs to, th to those of teenager. So we are talking about also different criteria. It's very clear uh, about, uh, from the sentence, what criteria are we going to fill in the gap with. Number four, people have different needs according to their school, uh, social customs. Social customs, language, and uh, uh, di uh, dietary habits. So uh, here we have uh, social customs, language, uh, dietary habits. This is also uh, talks about specific criteria. Number five, different segments have different uh, diso uh, disposable uh, or uh, diso uh, I'm sorry, uh, disposable incomes. I, uh, for example, the amount of money that is left after uh, essential have been paid for. So the last one will be also, uh, it's very clear which criteria shall we put in the gap. Here we have the answer. So uh, at the first sentence, we have to put lifestyle. It's very clear. The first part of uh, the sentence talks about professional, a young professional who wants a drive sport car and the married couple want to a larger car. Uh, this is uh, depend on their lifestyle. Number two, do it yourself. Equipment is a large, uh, largely target at men, whereas uh, cosmetics are largely, it's very clear, both uh, men and women, here we are talking about gender. So uh, we uh, divide uh, the essential according to the gender. So the, the correct criteria, criteria shall, uh, which we have to put in the gap is the gender. Number three, as a, it's very clear that uh, it talks about age. And the uh, number four, uh, it talks about culture, and the last criteria will be income. So as I told you before, it's very important to understand the word itself and the meaning of each word. This is the lesson for today. I hope you all got benefit and enjoyed this episode. Uh, with me, uh, teacher Shahinaz al -Sahayan. Thank you very much and uh, uh, I hope you stay safe all the time.